structures in this entire era. I will be taking you through the entire course of centuries and how we have evolved as structural engineers. As humans have found three common materials which have helped us to build our entire civilization. When I talk about civilization, I mean how we have built amphitheaters, how we have built auditoriums, stadiums, residential apartments and commercial buildings. Three common materials that we have found is steel, timber and later on we went on inventions of concrete. Over the course of time, I have realized that constructing any structure involves a process. The process comprises of design, construction and then final handover for which the entire structure is being used. In the design stage, this is one of the aspects I have learned during a course of study at IIT Roorkee. This is a bridge which we have made out of 9000 ice cream sticks. The span of the bridge was about 1 meter and it could take a load of about 250 kgs. So this is a basic process and the same process is followed for every structure that we build for our civilization. You can see we standing on the bridge and a load of 250 kgs applied to it. Over the period of time, in the ancient centuries, there was a cementitious material which was used for constructing our civilization. As we evolved, as industrialization began, we have discovered and invented cement, which was popularly known as Portland cement. Later on, we went on to add admixtures, sand, aggregate and so on, which formed concrete. And today, as you all popularly know, we use reinforced cement concrete to build our structures. Let me tell you something about Colosseum. This was a famous structure built in 70 AD by Roman Empire. Today as well, we can see some of the features of this Colosseum, though it has deteriorated and several times it is retrofitted in this century. But just imagine a structure to have been lasting for almost 2000 number of years. Isn't it amazing? This is purely a load bearing structure. You can see the thicknesses of the walls. In that particular era, this structure was built by engineers and laborers. The next beautiful structure that we know, Taj Mahal. On the same lines, Taj Mahal was built as a load bearing structure. Even the foundation of the Taj Mahal was built in load bearing structures, popularly known as wells and chaos and systems. The beautiful calligraphy that was crafted in that particular era is still appreciated by this structure was a load bearing structure on top of it as you all popularly know marble cladding was done. These are the various ancillary buildings surrounding the main structure that was built in that particular era. Let me take you across to the structure in 20th century. This is a popularly known as Akashi Kaikyo Bridge built in Japan. The central span is about 2 kilometers. Just imagine a structure beautifully built without any support spanning up to 2 kilometers. This is entirely built in steel structure. The foundations and abutments are built in concrete. They have used high performance concrete. Over a period of time, in 20th century, we evolved and we developed high performance concrete. Over a period of time, we changed our methodology of construction. Instead of going to the site and pouring the concrete, people started evolving and thinking about prefabricated designs. This was the first such humongous structure known as Habitat 67 built by architect Sabdi. 
Just imagine each and every room of this particular structure is about 70 to 80 tons. Specialized mechanized cranes were used for lifting each of these modules of the rooms and that's how this entire structure was built. These are some of the demonstration sketches by them how they have constructed this entire building. Once this next structure which we all know in this 21st century is Burj Al Khalifa. It is one of the standing tall towers which is seen by us. This is beautifully designed in such a way that it allows the wind to easily pass through the structure with reducing the wind effect on this building. This is beautifully designed for earthquake and wind loads. The popular vortice effects of wind are nullified and reduced. Another such technology used for constructing this building is slip formwork. Slip formwork is a formwork system which is mechanized in such a way it moves vertically upwards with the help of hydraulic systems. I am going to showcase you the next phenomena that we are using in the 21st century. This is called as a 3D volumetric precast construction. In 3D volumetric precast construction, all the rooms are fabricated in the factory and these are assembled on the site like a jigsaw puzzle. Please have a look. Tires, everything he'll prepare independently for you. 
will take two to three years of time, and then he will deliver you the car in three years. Have you ever seen that? No, because that evolution of automobile industry is happening in 19th century. The similar evolution is being happening for construction industry today. In later centuries, you will see that you directly have to approach a contractor or a distribution center. You approach him, you tell him that this is my land parcel. I want a piece of. I have a piece of land, and please construct a home for me. I will show you the imagination of this idea, wherein if you approach a contractor, you will get your house within a span of 30 days. All the house components, such as beams, slabs, staircase, landing, mid landing, everything would be fabricated in the factory. Some of the sample pieces I can show it to you for demo. There are some models which are kept on the table, which you can later on visit as well. All these components of the building are fabricated in the factory, and then these are assembled on the site. So let's say if you place the order, the factory components are already fabricated and it takes almost about 3-4 to four days to assemble all these components. This design is done in such a way that using 6 variety of components, you can fabricate 500 different configurations of houses. So from this library of 500 houses, you can select one of the house that you like and then the contractor will deliver you the entire house within a span of 30 days. So after 30 days, you will get the keys of the house. It will be a perfectly livable house for you. So this is how we have evolved 
as human species right from Roman Empire till 21st century.